Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Myself, Balram, sir. Today, I'm your speaking instructor. I'm from Nepal. My examiner number is 962002, Bharatpur, Nepal. And the candidate name of your is Khusi, Nepal. And candidate number is 3444466. Okay. Here is our recording device which can record your speaking till your whole period of part 1 and part 2, 3 together. So you should be both compatible and give all answer clearly and properly. Okay. Now, please show me your passport. Okay. What's your full name? My full name is Kusi Nepal. How can I call you? You can call me Kusi. Kusi, where are you from? I'm from Belsi, which lies near Chiton National Park. Okay. Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to ask you speaking part one question today about photography. Do you like taking photographs? Yes, I love. How often do you take photos? Uh, not that often, but whenever I see a natural thing that I feel attracted, I click click. Picture. Which situation do you like to take photographs? Uh, the situation where I have beautiful scenarios of nature, that's when I take pictures. Do you prefer to take f pictures of people or scenarios? Uh, it depends. Uh, mostly I prefer clicking picture of scenario, but if I find the people beautiful, I love. Yeah. Do you like to take photos of your own or of others? Uh, I prefer taking pictures of others. How do you keep your photos that you captured in mobile phone? Uh, just in gallery, nothing there. Do you keep your photos on your computer? No, I don't do that. Are there any photos on the wall of your house? Yes, there are quite a lot of photos of my family and friends in the wall of my house. What device do you use to take photos, mobile phone or camera? I use my mobile phone to click pictures. Is it easy for you to capture the photos? Yes, it is easy as I have my cell phone and it's uh, the technology had made it easier to click pictures so it is easy for me. And that's a great. Now here is speaking part 2 question today. I'm going to ask you some question in speaking part 3. And you have to speak for 1 to 2 minutes and you have 1 minute time to prepare some notes. It is a question. It's pain. And here's paper for you. start now <clears throat> thank you sir for your question uh, a beautiful place inside my country that ha i have visited recently is Ghandruk. Uh, it's it is a very beautiful place which i have visited recently with my friends uh, when i was in Tuval standard uh, the college has taken us to a tour for three days and for three nights and four days and I have been to Gandhru during that time. The most attractive thing of that place for me is the beautiful scenery that I have seen in the morning. The Allo mountain that that is that was seen from my room was very beautiful. It attracted me so much. I was looking at me at that scenery for about half an hour uh, to add more. There, the people living there were so good and uh, gave us a good hospitality the food there was also so tasty i haven't had that tasty tea before and the landscape to talk about the landscape the landscape was so beautiful that i was so attracted to it 
and i think being there will help a person to feel at peace and if they have any insecurities or some problem they can have the leisure time over there and have some fun with their friends and family thank you oh that's a good thank you now here is speaking part three questions what are the advantages of tourism i think there's quite a lot of advantages uh, of tourism as being a tourist it will help a person to learn new languages and new cultural and will get to know other people and make many friends over there and uh, to talk about a country the country will learn uh, more money and make friends with other country what are the some drawbacks or disadvantages about tourism i think tourism will degrade the culture if people are if people living in a certain area uh, start loving the uh, culture of the tourists they visit that that visit they visit that place will uh, the people there start using that culture and it mm. might degrade the culture also the wastages pro produced by the tourism is quite a lot uh, how do the local people get benefit by tourism uh, as talk uh, talking about the local people they will get a job opportunities and as being a poor country it will help people to live uh, in, increase their living standard and it will help them a lot in your opinion do the tourism provides the better opportunities for people for education or exploring the new places i think it will provide uh, a lot of learning activities as uh, the things we study in books are not quite effective uh, than the things we have seen through our own eyes and learned face to face or uh, been heard from the local people so i think uh, learning through being a tourist will be a lot more help uh, why you like to travel most uh, for me traveling is a best medicine for my hangover or anything like that it will give me a peace and uh, the nature the nature will just uh, have the uh, quality or the thing that will make me peace and what types of places do you like to go and explore i would love to explore the mountain areas and it will give me the scene of the lower lands and i can see everything being in the up higher place and it's quite beautiful looking the lower lands from there is it necessary to protect the natural resources yes being a nature lover for me it is really necessary to protect a nature as we are here just because of nature if something became regarded in nature we don't know if we can survive or not so it is really necessary to in your opinion how do people and the government protect the nature and environment uh for me government and people should work together to protect the nature as it's our environment and it's our property uh, in in order to survive and to make our life comfortable and more luxurious there should be a good natural resources for us if uh, we have lack of water then there is not possible that we can survive for long so being together with government joining hand with them helping the government to increase the natural resources and protecting protecting them is our mm, that's a good thank you, thank you okay in today's speaking test today we have here kushi nepal from nepal and she has spoken her all the words smoothly and properly her level of confidence is really high and appraisal and she is admirable for her spoken qualities she has good skills to deliver the answers all the questions answers she give her level best and moreover to provide her score she has secured band 7 in speaking today in speaking test and what i want to add more here about her personality is really good and soothing in nature she is one of the inspiring person for the youngsters who can go for ielts speaking test and they should not feel trouble with a speaking a person like the examiner and thanks for her future interviews and for upcoming days of her thanks for watching